This video is for all developers who want to be more productive on the Unix command line. So I have a few tips to you that help me improving my productivity and leveraging the command line environment on my Linux machine. So here you can see a command prompt, my terminal, my command line in my Linux environment. I use the C shell um, shell right now. So most of the developers are usually f uh, familiar with bash, but I can recommend actually to switch to C shell just of, well, actually there are many reasons, but especially because of three reasons. So first of all, you can use everything that you do in bash today with C shell as well. So all of the commands and everything is compatible. Then the second reason, and this sounds like a small improvement, but it will actually help you a lot, is you can switch directories without typing CD. So instead of typing this, you can actually directory, directly switch into temp by just well typing the directory where you want to switch into. That is a big improvement actually once you get used to it. And the third reason is that you can expand directories and paths with multiple hierarchies at once by hitting tab once instead of hitting tab all of the time. So for example, instead of hitting temp and then some test sub folder and hitting tab all the time, you can actually just say temp test sub folder and hit tab once. And if that everything matches, then we'll auto expand everything at once automatically. So that is much faster. And then also, of course, you can directly jump into it. So this is a actually very helpful improvement. And this is one of the reasons why I just because of that switch to C shell and, and never switch back. And then a feature where what most of the command lines support is aliases. So if you use any commands, and it doesn't matter if you're a Java developer, and use maven clean package and something like this all the time, or you always keep typing git status, and as you just saw misspelling them, you can also use aliases that ideally also ought to expand with many, many commands that either come out of the box with your shell or with your shell extension or can be defined by yourself. So for now, I defined many, many, I think over 300 of these aliases because they're just super helpful. For example, if you use Docker, then you can do a Docker build, you can do Docker PS and Docker run and so on and so forth or Kubernetes. You can get all of the services, get all of the parts, apply Kubernetes files, everything that you do, well, you can, instead of type, uh, typing that all over again, define as aliases. So I also have multiple different alias definitions. So I, um, I described that in my latest blog post. For example, if you want to have something like curl local host, then you do not want to expand it at the end with a white space since you can then just keep typing on, right? So this is a kind of different um, alias definition. And the same is true for aliases, uh, aliases that would not expand at all. For example, um, this one that I expanded to, well, another ls um, substitute. So this doesn't expand at all since this would not be helpful to always uh, be expanded like this or like this is just distracting. So these are multiple different type of aliases that help you well simplify all of this usage a lot. Then what also helped me quite a bit because I'm for now actually I'm a heavy Vim user is that you can use a Vim mode in your command line. So if you turn it on and press escape, you're actually in the normal mode as you would usually uh, expect from your Vim editor and then you just can well keep jumping around as as you're used to and substituting words for example and so on and so forth and you're way more productive and your fingers can keep um, staying on the home row where they're supposed to be much much more rather than switching to your cursors and back and forth so I think this helps actually quite a lot and then another feature that is especially useful in Seashell because it sh really shines uh, with that is globbing. So you can use many potential globbing features such as searching for files on a specific file um, structure in, for example, multiple subdirectories and so on and so forth and then just all display the results here. Or, for example, globbing can also be helpful if you want to rename a file, let's say you want to move the file file ASCII doc 
to well file one ASCII doc for example then instead of typing it again you can do a globbing like this and maybe expanding it so you see what you're doing and then just renaming the file here so it gets renamed and there are many helpful extensions like that so I don't even use all of them but if you get used to them more and more you're just way more productive and also there are many useful extensions to your shell in general for example if you are in a git repository then you can have extensions to your command line prompt and show what the current status of your working directory is and so on and so forth and you can use all kind of coloring features like I did for um, for my listing of files for example different colors and file sizes and so on and so forth and you can have custom order completion for example if I type vim and file here I want to say I definitely want to edit this one this is an ASCII doc file because I exclude it into vim to autocomplete for example an mp4 file which I usually would not open in vim and things like that you can see what you how your command line reacts on the auto completion features and then fine-tune that further so that's definitely helpful then of course if you're in a command line you can use all kind of automation so shell scripts for example I'm usually in an enterprise uh, Java sector so I define all kind of shell scripts to, uh, that I that I can will use that help me of getting my work done faster so this guy for example searches for the current uh, maven project that is assumed that it's in a maven project searches for the target directory and the war file that is in there maybe and then start up a docker container and mount that in as a volume so it can directly start for example or with my gopro camera i defined to automatically download and scrap all files to a local directory so connect the, um, into it and download them for example so especially in a linux environment this is very powerful because in, in linux and unix you can usually do everything that you could do in a computer in the command line and then you can go and script it and automate it and you're well done much faster and i can in general just recommend to get familiar with unix features for example if you say you're using you're using pipe to pipes to um, combine multiple commands for example echo um, this one here by using the x uh, x arcs um, feature or do something like this and then uh, resort them and so on and so forth you can use the unix command line uh, well features and, and and power powers to get more productive ultimately so the more and more you get into that topic you can actually do your work very very fast and actually i for now fully replaced my file explorer with the command line so actually i don't even have a file explorer anymore so for example i can use um, shortcuts i use um, probably you know control l for um, clear or control k is it for me to just list the current directory or control um, j or um, h to display parts of the subtree of um, the current directory structure and so on and so forth so this is actually um, very helpful so then you can ultimately skip your explorer and just solely use the command line and get there well faster and another feature that helps a lot is um, is the suffix um, extension by um, suffix alias um, expansion by seashell so for example you can say i want to i want to open this file.mp4 in in vlc so instead of doing that i can actually say well this should be directly uh, be opened in that um, in that player and of course this is not a valid file actually i just um, I created this for test purposes but then the vlc media player will just uh, will just open with this file suffix expansion so then you can simply type the file that you want to open for example word documents and so on and so forth and then the appropriate program will just start so this also helps a lot to basically replace your file explorer with the command line and that's ultimately what i want to show you here so these are the i think most important features to get more productive on a command line and if you have more tips and tricks and other things that you found successful please uh, reach out and let me know and maybe we can 
together make the life of developers even more enjoyable by using the command line features. Thanks for watching.